Well, May has definitely arrived because we finally have some sunshine and some much needed dry weather, which is perfect actually for tea picking and the harvesting season has just begun. So I'm joined now by tea farmer Catherine. How's the crop looking? How's the weather been for the tea? Well, we're very excited about this season. The tea leaves have just started flushing, which is when the newest tenderest leaves that we hand pick come through. We've had a few anxieties, a few worry about too much, uh, rain, but actually this weather's perfect. The dry sunshine with a bit of rain. Well, it looks amazing, beautiful colours. How does the tea get from here growing to the tea that we can drink? Well, here at the Jersey Tea Company, we just do a fine pick. So we pick the top bud mm -hmm. and the tenderest, newest two leaves, which are full of those ones, yep, so if you try those, which are Great. full of antioxidants and essential oils. So not only do they taste good, but they um, are good for the health as well. Perfect. And then, um, we process the tea and from the processing style you have different types of hit tea. Here we've got our green tea and our black tea. So, so. Is, is this ready to taste then? Yes. <laughs> Let me try. So here is our green tea. So the, because it's whole leaf it shouldn't be bitter. It's a very light refreshing tea where some green teas can be a bit bleh. Um, there we go. So yeah, I'd be interested to see what you think? Well, you can't say it's not fresh, can you? Literally from the field to here. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it does taste lovely. Thank you. It tastes really amazing. Pleased. And you wouldn't think Jersey would be a place for growing tea, but how is the climate here? Yeah, well, we did a lot of research beforehand about the climate. And as you know, it's very sunny in Jersey compared to the rest of the British Isles. We do have about the right amount of rainfall. We don't have too much sort of snow or cold things. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. Oh, perfect. Well, we'll see if it's going to be good weather for tea picking now. Let's get the forecast. Well, we have got a week of settled weather to come and there was some lovely sunshine in parts as well over the bank holiday weekend. Alderney looking gorgeous with the blue skies and blue waters too. Now, if you're a fan of the sunshine and the bright weather, we've got more of that in store this week. It's staying dry, plenty of warm sunshine and feeling mild too. Now, there's a chance of a bit of mist and fog at times overnight, but nothing too significant. Now, the reason for the calmer weather is all to do with high pressure that's moving in from the west. As we know, high pressure tends to bring those more settled conditions, keeping at bay the weather fronts and keeping at bay the rain. So, as I said, it is going to be mainly dry. Now, overnight, it should be a clear night to start. Actually, quite a good night for stargazing as it is a thin crescent moon and the winds are staying light. But as I said, chance of that mist and fog towards dawn. But by tomorrow morning, once the sun is up, most of that mist and cloud should burn away. So another bright and sunny day to come. The winds tomorrow are even lighter than today, so it may well feel a bit milder. And as well, temperatures are slightly warmer with highs of 18 to 19 degrees and a high UV of 7. Well, let's get our times of high water then between half seven and eight in the morning and then later on between half seven and half past eight. So perfect for a dip after work if you like that kind of thing. So let's take a look at our week as a whole there. There's much to be pleased with. We've got some bright spells. As I said, it is staying dry and on Liberation Day, perhaps a cloudy start, but then plenty of sunshine and feeling mild too.